I bet you smoked a few after that to calm down. Yeah. Cigarettes are so gross back in the, like, I can't believe I even started those things. All right. We can buy turbo mode after this run. Or the microtransaction gun and finish that shop. Twitter post the other day, which I'm not even sure if it's real or not, but it was like a local TV station talking about how kids were getting into something called toe sucking, but not like what you would think. They were clipping their toenails and then grinding them up and then putting them in a vape and smoking them to get high. It's not real at all. I've seen this short. It's hilarious, though. Okay. Not real, but it was fucked up. I love that. <laughs> Two Chains, how are you a first-time chatter and you're a sub? You're like a fucking paradox. What do y'all think about when a streamer calls out lurkers on stream? Like, if I was like, hey, lurkers. Can y'all type something in the channel to let me know y'all are alive? Like, I've heard from a bunch of people that a lot of lurkers don't like that. They just want to be left alone and to lurk. And that it offends some people. But I feel like if you're not specifically calling somebody out... Hey, sad robot. If, you're, if I'm not, like, looking at my user list and specifically calling somebody out... Like, who the fuck cares? Also, if you don't like it, just don't respond. Pretend like you're not there. Right? And then also, it's the streamer's channel. It's their fucking rules, right? Like, I don't get why anybody would, would get their feelings hurt about that or get upset about that. To be honest, I mainly lurk because I fall asleep when watching you as I'm UK based. I feel like people are just being overly sensitive for no reason when they're like, don't call out your lurkers, it's rude. I'm like, well, actually, it's the streamer's channel, it's their rules, they can do whatever the fuck they want, and if you don't like it, you don't have to watch, right? Like, who cares? It's not like I'm going on my user list and being like, Hey, Tim3012, are you here? Talk to me. Why aren't you talking to me? As long as it's that three-viewer channel and they greet you as soon as you join. I used to do that. You know what I would do? When I first started streaming... I wanted everybody to feel special and to feel like I was interacting with them. And anytime somebody new joined the channel, even if they were just lurking, I would be like, hey, so-and-so, thanks for thanks for uh, hanging out. That's all I would say. And they'd be like, oh, man, I didn't even know you saw me. And it was like nobody ever got mad about it. Like, it just seems like such a silly thing to get upset about. You did that to me 12 years ago. That's what I'm saying. It gets to a certain point where when you have like 100 plus viewers, that's like impossible to do. But back when I was like a small, just starting off streamer, I would do that kind of stuff. When people do that, I immediately leave. It's kind of weird to me. And you're allowed to do that. I just want to show my appreciation for people uh, coming and hanging out. I want to give them a nice warm welcome. You can't please everybody. That's true. Oh, 
I was having this discussion the other day with another streamer, though, because somebody in their channel was, like, arguing with them, like, well, I feel guilty if I don't say anything when they call the lurkers out. And it's like, that's a you problem, not a me problem. You don't have to say anything. You can pretend to be AFK. It's not a big deal. Like, that's in your head, yo. But please, if you think I'm wrong, let me know. Don't force me to interact. You will talk in here. Or else. You'll like it. You will interact with me. Or we're not going to invite you to D&D &D night. Got him. AFK. Nick. Nick, don't leave me. Why would you do that to me? I'm going to open this, actually. I don't think I've picked that up yet. Now I have. I'm just going to take it. I can steal with it if I'm good, I think. Yep, yep, pop, pop, pop. We got the dead space gun. So in D and D, we're in an area called the Morning Lands, where like a thousand years ago, basically a god or somebody dropped a nuke in this area, and it left behind like a mist that kills anything living that enters it, and also preserves the bodies of dead things even if they're like hundreds of years old and slowly turns them into abominations. And so to go into the Mornlands, we were given special elementals that create a bubble around us. And during the fight to enter the dungeon we were looking for, I took a couple of smacks from a crab and I lost my bubble. So my character has no way of escaping right now. So I'm looking forward to D&D &D to see how we might reconcile that problem. Face tank the mist, daddy. Yeah, I'm thinking that's not going to work very well. Can characters permanently die in combat? Yes. You have to kind of, like, get really unlucky, though, or make really bad choices yourself. Oh, I don't like that. Getting better at these kind of rooms, though. Or have a DM that hates you. Yeah, I mean, if you're messing around too much. I also went insane again. Like, my character started off insane and was, like, crazy and pretty evil. But then, um, like, an event happened in-game where I, I regained my sanity. And everything became clear again, and I turned into, like, a respectable wizard. And as soon as we set place into this new area, uh, this dungeon, I went insane again. So, next session's gonna be real fun. I'm insane and I can't leave without dying. Ooh, I like all that stuff to be real with you, but I like keys the most. Seduce the mist. No, I only went insane for 20 years. 
There are these things called dragon shards. And they kind of look like dragon eggs, except they're used to, like, power stuff. But I found a unique one. And uh, I was a professor at an academy, and I, I was studying these things, researching them. And I did an experiment on myself with the dragon shard. And when I did that, it, like, fractured my mind and made me go insane. Because Tiamat... The evil five-headed dragon of the world who's trying to free her daddy Kyber to like start a cataclysmic event to end the world is trying to use me to like collect the other dragon shards and to destroy them because they're seals so Tiamat's like inside my head trying to uh, corrupt me basically and I've been like under her influence for 20 years so I'm kind of just like, yeah, I'm crazy. I'm going to do what she says. <laughs> um, unless we somehow fix me. Hate that item. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. I get to be a crazy wizard. I get to cause chaos. The last few episodes, though, since I was, like, the good version of myself, I wasn't causing nearly as much chaos. It was less fun, but it was needed, I think. Our group is, like, morally gray. Now, what happened was I, I got the shard, and I convinced them to let me do an experiment on it. And when we used magic on it, the shard crumbled. And when the shard crumbled, I got my sanity back. I don't know. The DM's... Bubs is holding a lot of things close to the chest. He could be making the whole shit up as he goes along, as far as I'm concerned. Like, not have an actual plan, but have all these, like, options that he could do. I like being a crazy wizard. We uh we had found some dynamite and some golden wheat, which is the equivalent to like shit. Well, like weed in that world. And before we went into the morning lands with all the evil mist that kills you, I rolled up a joint with some parchment and I gave like a little like pump us up speech while I passed it around to everybody. <laughs> The cat person passed on it, but, um, but Frost Prime didn't. He smoked that shit with me. Magic weed. I don't know if it's magic. It's just, like, the drugs of that world. I was like, this will help steal our resolve. Calm our nerves a little bit. <laughs> As soon as I lit that shit up, Bub stood up and walked away. Our DM, he's like, well... I'll be back. I'm just gonna let this play out. I was like, I pull out a, some parchment and roll up the golden weed that I pocketed. <laughs> he's like, I'm out. Pitchfork. We're going in dry. Yeah, we've only got, like, two episodes left in our campaign. And then we're going to go on, like, a, probably a month or two hiatus. Because one of our players is having a baby. So we're going to wait and see um, just how busy she gets. She's saying that she wants to play still, though, but... 
I don't, we don't know if, if that's gonna be reality or not. Fuck! Yeah, Bubs is also trying to move, yeah. Does her partner also play? Nah. I don't think I've ever met her husband. I got invited to her wedding, but I got stuck in the airport during a winter storm and couldn't make it. So I ended up just like flying in circles for a day and a half. Thank you for the prime, Zanari, and welcome back. I guess we'll take that. Wanting to play and having time to play are two totally different things, but newborn. Yeah. I think Frost has a lot of fun. Are we like playing to grow our channels? No. <laughs> But uh, I was pretty upfront about that. I'm like, this isn't gonna like grow your channel. This is just something fun we're gonna be doing. It helps out Bubs on his channel, you know. It's mostly just a play D and D with friends. It's a nice like change of pace, mix it up kind of thing for me. Yeah, well, it's hard to, like, get a lot of streamers involved and stuff. Uh, sometimes if they don't feel like there's, like, a, like, attached growth benefit to it. When you're pitching, like, the idea of playing D&D on stream to a streamer. So... My incentive is I just want to have fun and play D&D. Another one, nice. Ow. That was so nice of Nezba to raid us. She's so nice. The people that have been in my channel that I've met from OnlyFangs, Nesba, Corey the Guy, Christopher Yee, and Poke Laws. And that's it. Out of all the people that I hung out with uh, from OnlyFangs. Sardako is also coming here before, too. Sardako is really nice. Light gun. Yeah, Doge Burt, we're already almost three hours into it. I don't have any. Oh, wait, I just want money? Here.
too far away. Dude, somebody messaged me on Twitter and asked me if I wanted to make a video um, of a collage of a bunch of different Isaac creators. And he was going to have us each talk about an item or trinket that we wanted to have buffed uh, during the patch in November and make it like a video. And I replied back to him and said, hey, man, sorry, I've been super busy with my family. But to be honest, I don't want anything to get buffed. In fact, I would prefer if they nerfed things and made it harder. Maybe I'm just a masochist. <laughs> and he was like, lol, okay, fair. <laughs> I don't want to do the old king. Now I kind of do. Nah, nah, nah. We're going to get turbo mode. Yeah, I don't know. Like, quit buffing all the items. You're making the game easier. I've built my career off this game being hard and people watching me because of it, okay? Because it doesn't cater to casual players. Turbo mode is a hundred credits to unlock. Mine costs a hundred credits to unlock. Afterbirth Plus was a joke. That's because Edmund was going through real life shit with his family at the time. And Nicholas took it upon themselves to just make content without running it by Edmund. And that's why we got Delirium and all the dumb changes that they made to the game to make it easier. Definitely the worst. Afterbirth Plus was the worst expansion. I'm cool if you living vicariously through me open Valentine. Damn it. That takes all the ammo out of my gun when I get hit. I hate that. Repentance is the best version of Isaac, I think. A lot of love and care went into that. From Kilburn and his team. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. We love this thing. I think we're not getting a Delirium update, y'all. I just think it's not happening at this point. Damn it. I tried to tuck and roll over that. Pumping that thing up. That thing sucks. Always the fucking tank. What's up, Sammy? You need that extra speed with the tank or it'll corner you a lot of the time. What does that synergize with? Decoy Octorock. Okay. We got a lot of tentacly looking guns. How is Hunter doing in school? I don't want to talk about it right now. He's not having a great day today. We're not going to talk about it, though. Well, I'm getting hungry. can I eat that's not gonna like completely just be like fast food garbage no it has to be like I order it I don't have anything to eat here pretty much sushi that's like $80 order if like Lisa and I both get sushi it's like $80 Uber I'm not trying to spend $80 on lunch. I try to do sushi Uber for like a special occasion. Jimmy John's does not deliver or Uber. I hate salads so much. Fried rice, that doesn't sound very good for you.
Uh, Jimmy John's changed ownership, so you might like it better now. Ow. What does this thing do? Octo Rock? Hit him with the tongue. Licky licky. nervous for a turbo run. We should be able to handle it, though. I could do, like, a turkey sub from Subway. That's kind of cheap and not terrible for me. dollars for sushi <laughs> sushi John <laughs> oh my god God of Nah, thanks for the prime. Hey, I was talking about what to get for lunch to chat, and they were saying to get sushi, and I said it's expensive, and then somebody tipped me a hundred dollars to get sushi. So, do you want anything? You want your your lady roll? Just that, okay. All right. Sounds good. Bye. Alrighty. If you don't get sushi, you have to send it back. I'm getting sushi, brother. Available at 4.30 p.m. That's in an hour and a half. Okay. Well, I gotta wait an hour and a half to get sushi, but there will be sushi. It ain't gonna hurt us to, to chill for an hour. Keys. I think it's a dragon gun. This is its final form. Turbo treadmill run while you wait. Shut your mouth, Poppycock.
Pop. Ooh. Space friend. I mean, 110 subs would mean we do the treadmill run. No, we can't do it. We can't do turbo, though. We do a treadmill run. I'm not that confident in myself. gonna trash that Chess. Okay. Nice and clean. How much would someone have to pay for you to get nipple piercings? 5,000 subs total. And I'll get one nipple pierced. thousand subs and I'll pierce it myself. nipple. You don't even need nipples, bro. Guys, we all know that I'm not going to pierce my own nipple because we're never going to get 8,000 subs, all right? That's an unlock. be an oiler in chat. I think we're good. You're lucky I don't have the kind of money to get you to 8k subs. Good. Lord CDM. Normally, I'm all about you gifting me subs and stuff. 
But I really don't want to pierce my own nipple. Even for 8,000 subs. <laughs> but I'll do it. Oh, God. I have no way I could prove it to you guys that I did it, though. It's not like you can watch me do it. That's TOS. I'd have to get, like, a, a notary person to sign off on it or some shit. Stream on kick. I'd rather not. <laughs> I have a Discord and a Twitter. Okay. Quit asking me how much money it would take for me to do weird things, okay? Because I have a price for a lot of stuff. This Isaac tattoo I got on my arm, that was a goal. Dude, I already said I would get a tramp st stamp that says I love chat. Okay? Bow, 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 bow. We're rich. Ring of Chest Vampirism. Blade. Make some bleed. Regular. What does the turkey do? Gives me an extra life or something? I don't remember. Mimic. Refunds your ammo. Okay. Shadow bullets, gun knight armor. Tage Bunshin? have great guns for this fight.
Fuck off. We got Shadow Clone action. Dude, I got the yawns. Might be time for a caffeine hit. That was bad. playing more Wukong later. If more people had stuck around last night, I, I would have, but... A lot of people don't want to see spoilers. Thanks, Muhammad, for the follow. HDH SJN Wu, I think you're a bot. Thanks for the follow. Steinrich, thanks for the follow. Poo Poo Magoo, 69. I feel like I recognize you from somewhere, Poo Poo Magoo. Uh, Deem, thanks for the follow an hour ago. Alec, after hours, an hour ago. Likeable Lime. And Resda, ne Resba, Nesba brought an insane raid over. Yeah, he didn't want to get spoiled. I think I only got like four hours of sleep last night, four and a half. Why am I like this? I'm playing with a controller. Oh, what's everybody up to? Y'all playing games? Y'all working? We got the EU crew out today. Yeah, we still normally don't start stream for another hour and a half. Just finished a bike workout. Wowie, you playing the new retail shit? Still at work. Playing my lessons for next week. Watching some guy play some pixel game. POE, people are still playing POE, man.
Japanese study kanji practice. I wish I could learn Japanese. Yeah, I heard the league was really good this season on PoE. Just watching and drinking juice. It was a good run. We got it unlocked.